rock. It's new music. It, personally, it's just reinventing ourselves too. You know, as artists and individuals, taking everything that we've learned and keeping that and uh, reinventing the way that we actually play the music, perform, listen to each other, listen to music, all that. That title jumped in my head when I was driving uh, on the highway to Bridgeport, <laughs> which is a, a terrible highway stretch, but it just popped in my head. I was like, wow, that sounds like a cool idea. I think we started pre-production on it in April of, of 2006. What does it mean to you? Another outdoor box. <laughs> something new, something refreshing to go play on the radio. Something different. I was gonna say it's the, personally even for me, the entire sum of everything that I've done musically up to this point. It's an amalgamation of everything I've done. It's a statement. You know, pretty deep stuff. It means a lot. <laughs> it's for lack of a better word. When writing, uh, I think everything. Anything, I want to say everything. Uh, everything but individually. Sometimes I think of like playing in front of that crowd where it was like fantastic, a ton of people, and I think, wow, oh, yeah, you know, I got that energy going. Then other times, uh, from personal or political things, you know, personal things, or things that are happening in life, you know. That actually helps me with a lot of the lyric writing, is actually I kind of dig into into that. Because with lyric writing, it's a, it's a conversation, it's a story, you know. So that's where that comes from. From the actual guitar and energy standpoint, it's usually that road, live crowd kind of feel, you know. One turning point I think for us was, is that we found an abandoned car by a school that uh, our, our mom lives at, you know, right by a school. Found an abandoned car. It was there forever. We looked inside. Yeah, there was a bunch three, of tapes. Four weeks. Yeah, three, four weeks. We we broke in the car and we took the tapes. And that that I think might have been destiny right there. Our friends wanted the rap tapes, like they wanted like N.W.A. and all those bands that are really cool. We love them. But we took home like Ozzy. <laughs> we took home Iron like, Maiden. Iron Maiden, all that Metallica. stuff. Metallica. Metallica. Yeah, all like the, to all that stuff. So it's like that whole summer. It was like bark at the moon and like you know all that. So that's kind of what started that out. Not for us. Making this album, Reinventing the Sun, has been, um, it's a growing and actually a learning experience too since it took about a year to make. Um, kind of found out about a lot, a lot about each other by doing it as well. Uh, musically, um, you know, personally, you know, all that stuff. This brand new territory that we've never gone to on this album. And um, it's actually... Uh, it's actually a real thing, you know. No, nothing on this album has been contrived and you know beaten to death in, in that sense. Where it's a it's a natural, real thing, you know. It's a living, breathing thing, and we've basically put everything we've got into this album. So um, we're really hoping that you guys enjoy it. We plan on doing good things with it, uh, making a lot of noise. <laughs> so uh, um, definitely let us know what your favorite song is, and we look forward to seeing you seeing you in your town when we're on tour. Okay.